because I'm an untrained artist as well. And my art comes from intuitively mm-hmm. and it, it 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 doesn't come from any training it's just a feeling that i have and in fact when i paint it's always a process i never know what it's going to look like when it's finished i start it and then i it just keeps going and angels appear in my paintings that i didn't put there yeah um, figures, realistic figures, people, and animals appear that I don't have the technical skills to paint or draw myself. But they are there, and I'm not the only one who sees them. It's not like I imagine it. These, they are truly there. Yeah. And, um, and often, sometimes, it's months or years before I even notice certain figures or uh, um, of animals or, or people or angels. And sometimes I don't even see it. There's one painting that I did, and I thought it was a tree of life, which it is. And then a friend of mine about four months ago said, do you see the angel in there and the wings? And after she said it, it was very clear, and other people see it now, too. I just say, do you see the angel? And they say, yeah. Yeah. And so there are different levels, just like some people can tell a story on different levels. Yeah. My paintings can be seen on different levels, and different people see different things in them. And at different times in my growth, I see different things. Mm -hmm. And it's because the eye is interacting with my soul and the information that I need. When I do things, whether it's what I'm doing right now or which I consider to be creative and artistic, or business, which I feel like is a very creative, artistic adventure. Everything I do is very creative. I sometimes have to let go of what I'm thinking and just get into the flow. And when I'm in that flow, the Ascended Masters or Jesus or Buddha or the Pope or whoever, they all hang out, you know, and, and they're like, here, here's a tool or here's something that you need. And I let it go. And I just do whatever I'm doing. And then later on, I look at it in reflection, and I'm like, how did I do that? Not to disempower myself, but with perspective, I see more in there than I ever thought there was. Or, like you're saying, someone else will look, whether it's a relationship, look about you, you're making progress, or it's a picture, and I see all this stuff in it. There are things we're doing and creating that are on other levels that we can't and we don't consciously understand. But it's there for us. I agree with you 100%. And actually, I find it empowering Mm -hmm. because the work that I've had to do is to clear myself and get my logical mind out of the mix and that critic that sits there saying you don't know what you're doing you don't know how to do this what makes you think you can do this who do you think you are blah 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 okay it goes on and on and on why are you using that color nobody would do that you know and and it's like <laughs> what are you thinking and it, and it was learning how to quiet that voice yeah. that wants to stop us so that I could allow to come through me what needs to be painted through me. And I'm very honored and humbled that I can do this. And it's and and it and that it's not just me, okay. That I'm really working with the spirits and working, doing God's work in the world. And one of the ways that I do it is through my paintings mm-hmm. and allowing that to come into the world because it can only come in through me the way it can come in through me nobody else can do that they can do theirs but what i'm doing in conjunction with the angels who work with me is unique and that's what um what gives me tremendous pleasure is sharing that and bringing that particular kind of joy into the world 